Hi everyone, Blaine here, and uh, I'm going to be doing a uh, tutorial here on ILS landings uh, by request. So we are flying between San Diego and Los Angeles, and we've just done top of descent, so we're going to be making our base turn shortly. Um, ILS landing is basically instrument uh, landing, and what that means is the computer and the FMC and the aircraft together will um, basically bring the plane in to uh, the runway on its own without any need for really human intervention or manual flight. Now you will have to change a few settings here or there, but more or less the plane will almost land itself. Uh, if you want the plane to land itself, you can always uh, look on YouTube for auto land. Uh, we're not going to be doing that today though. So basically, there's a couple of things you have to do. Uh, first of all, because we are uh, approaching 10,000 feet here, we're going to be turning on the landing lights and changing uh, some overhead panel settings. Uh, but basically what you need to do is slow the plane down and then configure a couple of settings uh, for the ILS landing. So I'm going to go to the overhead panel, and we're going to put the landing lights on and change the engines to continuous. If I go to the FMC, it says drag required here, which means that we need to start slowing the aircraft down. And so how I'm going to do that uh, when I get just a little bit past Doyle is uh, for this flight specifically, uh, I generally put um, flaps one down before I do my turn because that really helps slow the aircraft down. Uh, the other thing we're going to do is also uh, extend the speed brake uh, so that it, uh, it slows down the plane as well. So in terms of getting your ILS frequency, um, how do we want to do that? Well, basically, what you want to do is go to your FMC, and you want to go to init ref, and this is your approach reference, and we're going to be changing this shortly. So you can see here that you want to be configured for 40 degree of flaps, and so you'll line select this uh, once we make our turn. This frequency right here is your ILS frequency, and you're wanna gonna put that into the radio stack under nav. So right here I have them both set. We're not gonna change that yet though, so that's where you'd enter them in. And then um, you, you basically just have to put VOR lock and approach on, and then control your speed and everything is good. The other thing you're gonna wanna do is if you select map, what you're gonna do is in the approach uh, selector here, you're going to put your approach in there um, once it becomes available to you, and that makes it so that it will uh, basically tell you if you're in the glide slope uh, via this picture here. You can also tell that by a purple diamond which will appear here um, once we make our turn, but it's also good to, to see, you know, am I in the glide slope via the picture. So, we're about to make our turn. I'm going to do flaps one. And I'm also going to put the speed brake. Uh, I'm having some issues with the most recent, uh, the most recent one there. But yeah, it's starting to slow down now, so that's good. Okay, so now what we want to do, uh, once the aircraft makes its last little turn there is uh, we're going to do the VOR lock function that we talked about. Okay, so we're doing our last little turn here see the airport is in front of us. Okay, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put the ILS frequencies to on. So we're going to go and click them to active. We can see the diamond is purple, so we're going to hit VOR lock. And then it's going gonna, it's gonna to capture that, which is why it just kind of moved there. As soon as that diamond starts to move, we're going to uh, turn on approach. And also, we're going to start slowing down, so I'm going to hit flaps down again. 
because we do want to slow down. If I go to map and I select here, you can see there's approaches that are becoming active, but ours isn't yet. And if I go to the FMC and I go to progress, we're going to line select, oh, sorry, FMC in at ref, we're going to line select here. So we're going to be 123 plus 5, that's going to be our final speed. If I go to progress, we're 8 nautical miles away. So we want to be at flaps 10, and we also want to put our landing gear down. I'm going to hit uh, approach because the diamond has started to move. And if I go to map, and select this, it's now available. And we are in the glide slope as you can see here. So, all we have to do now really is just control our speed. Speed brake is armed. We're also going to configure our auto brakes to two. And you can see here our speed is okay. So we're doing really good right now. Uh, we just want to add more flaps as we go along. And we're doing all right. We're in the glide slope. You want to um, slow down, you know, gradually, obviously, but you don't want to do your flaps all at once because uh, two reasons. One, if you do your flaps all at once, um, what will happen is uh, if you go from like, you know, 5 to 40, is that puts significant drag on the aircraft and uh, that can usually damage the aircraft. Uh, the second reason is because you have traffic behind you and so you can't, you can't slow all the way down because you're going to have planes coming in behind you, so you need to do it gradually but not That's so gradually that it's... Uh, it's, it's causing you to have traffic run into you, essentially. So we're going to do, let's see here, ups down again, check on the glide slope, and we are in the glide slope perfectly, so that's good. So basically all we have to do now is just control our speed, monitor our flaps, and we're coming in. As I mentioned, our, uh, our speed right now, if we go to the FMC, we go to init ref, it was 123. So we want to be 123 plus 5, which would be... Uh, 128. So that's going to be our final speed. Kind of slowing down gently here. I do flaps again. And as you can see here on the PFD, this white line, that's that's us. That's us being level, and that's where we're flying. And the diamond here is going to move closer to that as we go along, uh, which means that we're absolutely perfect in the glide slope. Now, although our speed was going to be 128 plus 5, you can see it's it's a little bit lower than that. So I'm going to make it 130, just so that the aircraft has a little bit more more uh, speed and it doesn't go below that that 128 one. And you can see now the white line and the diamond are completely aligned. So that means we're absolutely perfect in the glide slope. If we hit the map button once more can see that we're coming in absolutely perfectly right in the center of the glide slope so that's great uh, if we zoom in you can see that the pappy lights are red over white so that's excellent so we're going to do our final uh, amount of flaps and then we're going to do our final check uh, we have um, our landing gear is down we have three green lights our flaps is 40 our brakes are set to uh, two uh, pappy lights are red over white uh, glide slope is good and uh, we're good. All we have to do now is land the plane. So with Zebo's aircraft, um, one of the things that you want to do is when you get to about 20 feet above the ground, you want to push your throttle forward and then down so that it recognizes that it's going to idle. Um, and then that will allow you to, uh, to basically engage the thrust reversers. Fuel light just came on here because I don't have as much left in the center tank, so that's fine. I'm just going to reset that. Again, the uh, pink diamond is perfectly aligned to the white line. Uh, Pappy lights are red over white, so we're coming in perfectly. So all you have to do is those settings, uh, as I mentioned, you know, set the approach, um, put your uh, your 
ILS frequency to active, um, change from via warlock to approach, and then just uh, monitor your speed, and the aircraft will bring it in like this. So when we get to, uh, you know, like I said, 20, we're going to flare the aircraft, and then we're going to turn our throttle up and down real quick. Um, five degree flare, and we're good. We're going to disconnect the autopilot in just a sec. Flare the aircraft. Yeah. And we're good. Thrust reversers. It doesn't like that autopilot disengage, but it's supposed to disengage. Okay, and we're going to cancel thrust reversers because it's past 80 knots. And we're good. That's how we land ILS. Every ILS landing is a little bit different because uh, you you know it depends on how you're coming in and what direction to the airport and so forth, uh, but it's pretty straightforward. It's uh, it's just a matter of managing the plane's speed and making sure that the glide slope is captured. So with that, uh, that's how you do ILS landings. Thanks for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe to be notified when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching.